previously recorded. I'm going to show you a cool knife in my collection. It is this. Um, I forget what they call this knife. Can you even see it? Yeah. Oh, camera's goofy. So here it is. This is made by Ottermesser of Germany. And this thing is unique. Uh, where did I get this from? I don't remember where I got it. This has a green bone handle. Uh, a very small little blade here. And uh, has a little place here for your finger. It's kind of neat. You see how that is? Or you can, you know. It's stainless steel. It's German. Rust free. Rust fry. Something like that. Solage in Germany. And like I said, these things are so nice. I love Ottermesser knives. They are probably my favorite German manufacturer. I really should have looked up what this was called before. Um, I think it's called like a doctor's knife, but it's not like in the traditional sense of a doctor's knife that us Americans or I don't know whoever else is used to those straight ones with like the little, I think this like, it's just kind of like a little helper, you know? Um, in fact, I'll change the title to this, to whatever this knife is, because I happen to forget completely. So please forgive me. This thing is awesome. It has brass li uh, brass liners, which a lot of automesters don't have. They actually have the um, steel liners. And uh, what else is there to say about this thing? Bone handles. I mean, most automesters are wood handles. They, I had some, remember with the stag, you know, they do make bone handles nice, but I just don't see them as much as their oak variants. So this little guy is super attractive, very small. Got my measuring tape out. Let's check this out. So the handle, yeah, this is pre-surgery. <laughs> so the handle itself is about three and a quarter. Yeah, about three and a quarter. If you take it from here back, you got about... Mm, just under four inches and I'm assuming that's how you would hold this now the blade the actual blade blade itself we're looking at just under two inches yeah just under two inches you can see that so it's not a very big blade but this is a great knife for putting it in your pocket I really enjoy it no half stops I haven't seen an automesser with a half stop yet Closed length is three and a quarter. So it's not a very big knife, but it's big enough to enjoy. It's big enough. To, I mean, you could take this to the office and not scare people. The fit and finish is always good. I do believe this one's a little proud on, clo on its closed position. Yeah, it's a little proud. You see that? The, the mainspring. But it doesn't bother me. These things were, this is not very expensive. It's... Heck, I think it was cheaper than a case knife. So, very cool. Has a great snap. Listen to this thing. It's an amazing spring. Here we go. Listen. Boom. Pow. Very cool. Has the great outer messer etching on there. And I just love these. These things like a jade green. It's so nice. The packaging that it came in, this this dye actually rubbed off on the packaging. It's kind of stained green. So it must have been fresh, freshly made and then packaged. Look at that. It's just so seamless. I like it when they're built this well. Automesser is just such a nice knife. Such a great traditional knife company. I wish we had more of their stuff in America. I would love to be a, like a dealer for these guys. I really would. I don't know if the demand is completely there, but you know, let me, I put, I've sold almost every single automesser I had. I think I have like one left, which I plan on just keeping, that I had to sell. Obviously, this I bought for myself after the, I quit selling. So, but uh, that's it. I, I swear I think this is called like the doctor's knife or the surgeon's knife or something like that. But it's in the title. So whatever it is, it's it's called what the title's called. So that's it. It's kind of, there's no bolsters on this. So it's kind of like a... Um, uh, like a sod buster in a sense too, the way it's constructed. Just such a nice knife. All right, guys, that's it. That's going to be the end of this. I'll see you next week with another pre-recorded video. I'll see you. Y'all be safe. Please subscribe and like these videos and share them with your friends. Also check out the stuff below uh, so that um, you can join the uh, Facebook Slipjoint Guy. Uh, what is it called? Um, buy, sell, and trade group. 
Um, I think it's like a hundred and some people. So the more people we get, uh, the more we can sell, you know, we could buy, sell and trade and we could get some cool deals. Hopefully, you know, there, I'm sure there's going to be some people there that's going to want too much for their knife, but you know, it is what it is. I don't want to restrict anybody. If it's too expensive, don't buy it. Um, simple as that. So anyway, guys, check that out. Check out the affiliate links below and I'll see you next week with another pre-recorded video. Bye-bye.